Hello there, everyone, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about PCM V17. It came out in late 2020, and I didn't cover it because I didn't know it came out. But I recently got to my knowledge that it was finally out. And of course, I had to try it. Because not only it brings a bunch of new features, it brings the features I, I was waiting for like sins forever, basically. So essentially what we have is VHD support now. So that was something I really, 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 really wanted ever since I got into the whole emulation thing because it actually saves a lot of space. I'm gonna show you why that's actually the case, which was not possible with IMG files and uh, well, let's just say it was quite an annoyance because if you have a lot of machines, you know, it adds up real quick. It's like a, a DOS machine, you don't need that much space. Like 100 megabytes is fine, but what about like a Windows 98 machine with like hundreds of megabytes, gigabytes actually, thousands of megabytes. So it, it ends up like very, very, very... Uh, huge on your drive and stuff so that was a problem and uh i i even used the modified i think it was a v15 with a patch uh, a guy from the community made which would allow vhd but it was still a work in progress in a sense so sometimes it would not work at all if you if you like tried to manually like mount the vhd to add stuff it could actually break the whole thing and now it doesn't happen, which I find uh, excellent, actually. So here's PCM, full-fledged, beautiful. So let's launch it and uh, show the settings. It's create no machine sample. So just to go through what is actually new. So as far as new things go, we have a bunch of new uh, options for machines. So the main being uh, the Gigabyte motherboard, which supports the Pentiums up to 450 megahertz and the Celerons, which go all the way up to 500 megahertz, 533 actually, which is pretty impressive and of course very demanding because it's a low level emulation. So you'd be looking at an i9 at the very least to run it decently. My Ryzen can just barely run uh, the 450, uh, 100%. Just barely. It doesn't actually run it all the time on 100%, but it's good enough. Also has the Cyrix one, uh, 500 megahertz, which is pretty, pretty good. I mean, uh, considering that before, I think the best option was like the MMX 300 or something. So it's quite a jump. And we have a bunch of new cards. Uh, the most uh, interesting one, in my opinion, being the Voodoo 3000, which god it's powerful and you have all the drivers from 3d effects all over the internet so it's pretty easy to set up i i made a machine a windows 98 machine with a voodoo 3000 it was uh, i ran a couple of games it was amazing so i have a windows 95 as well running with the voodoo and even a windows 3.11 running a voodoo with a custom driver of course because it was already pre-owned by then 99 so you can imagine it's not like the most uh, logical uh, operating system to use, but yeah, there's that. So yeah, the coolest feature here, which I consider my favorite is the VHD. So you have the fixed size, which is basically uh, what the name says, it's a fixed size. It's a box, it's empty, but it's a box that's taking up space. And the dynamic one is like a bag which is empty, it's not taking any space at all, and you feel it as as you go. So it grows bigger and bigger as time goes, with, with the only downside being in slightly slower than a fixed size in data throughput. And, you know, generally it's a slightly slower, but in this case, I would say it's a good thing that, that it's actually a little slower because we're trying to replicate old machines, old IDEs, which are not as fast as SATA. So it's a compromise and I do consider it to be a worthy compromise because then you get somewhat 
close to what the real thing was. So you get the low level CPU emulation, which of course is pretty slow compared to what we have currently. And you have slightly crippled uh, data throughput, which is not as slow as it would have been, but it's slow enough. So that would mean that installing Windows 98 could take upwards of 30 minutes compared to like what, 10 minutes max when it's a, uh, it's a fixed size or a VM mostly cause you know, we're not being throttled by a uh, slow CPU or anything, but it's a very nice experience nonetheless. And saving space is definitely the most important part. And then you have the differencing one, which would be a sort of mirror-ish. Like in VMware, you can like clone a virtual machine. You have the the Daddy VM and you have the Sony VM, which is just like Daddy, but uh, it doesn't like you can modify it, and it doesn't affect the Daddy one. So it's like it, it, it it's like a sort of mirror that you can snapshot ish that you can you know do whatever you want. And if you screw up, you can just delete, make another clone, and the uh, daddy VM is going to be just fine, basically. So that was a very, very nice addition because when we're talking Windows 98, Windows 95, and like two gigabyte plus drives, you know, uh, IMG is just too much at this point, storage wise. Because, like, what the average gamer nowadays, the average PC guy has like one terabyte, two terabyte stops. So, like if you have 10 machines, that's 10 gigabyte, considering it's a one gigabyte each. But so far as more than that, usually eight. So that's a lot. And you're most likely not going to fill the entire drive. Because it would be justified. Like it wouldn't make no difference. If you make eight gigabyte drive and fill the whole eight gigabytes, then that's fine. I mean, just just go for fixed size because it, it's, it's, it's faster. So like, why not? It's just the logical thing to do. But if you're just going to install Windows and just a couple of things, just to, you know, try out and eventually, you know, perhaps get more stuff and fill the drive, but most likely not. It's not like you're actually going to, you know, use the thing that much. Like generally, because it's not like, it's not work stuff. It's just, it's just for fun. You just want to see, like try a couple of, games but you're gonna grow tired of it and <laughs> it just piles up i have like i don't know 50 60 gigabytes worth of machines that i i, I probably won't ever touch again i gotta convert them to vhd for the sake of saving data so basically that that that, that is what is new with v17 and uh by far the greatest thing that ever happened to v17 and to bcm as a whole like it's finally like up there with the god tier emulators because of that. It was always pretty good, but now it's it's better than good. It's Pog. Like that was a game changer for me, definitely. Now I can finally go and <laughs> keep like making a bunch of old machines and trying different combinations because disk space is no problem anymore. Because I'm running low in space, so like I couldn't really go full like crazy. With the with the machines and stuff, and now I uh, having the option to go dynamic, like that's amazing. Finally, finally, there it's a feature that I've been dreaming of for God knows how long. To the point I even had like a modified one, like I mentioned before. So yeah, let's just run a couple of the machines just for the sake of showing how it runs and how fast the whole thing works. So for the three thousand <laughs> Pentium three hundred megahertz. 32 megabytes of RAM for Windows 3.11 with networking, worth noting, because that, that that's the, the bug part. So we have a fully networking capable Windows 3.11 with the default Microsoft stash, because I was was not big brain enough to run, um, to run uh, Trumpet Windsock. Sadly, I tried, but it really wasn't. It really wasn't going to work. I just cannot. My, I'm just not qualified enough to do that. But there you go. So we have Windows 3.11 usage. Let's look at that. So far, so good. As you can see, it's not that demanding if you're not doing anything very like gaming and stuff. 
it's generally pretty okay to run like a bunch of VMs on once. So the, this one is actually empty. I was trying to convert this one to VHD. Didn't really work. I lost everything. This one also broke during install. I had a major corruption. It doesn't work, but the 95 one works and the 98 works. 95, I'm not really going to boot because I, I chose a, I chose a motherboard that takes so long to post. Like, geez, it's awful. It takes no cap, like five minutes just to go past the post screen. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on. It has no errors whatsoever. It's just the fact that the motherboard is pretty slow. I assume. So here's the Windows 98 one, which is the second and last machine I'm going to show. And as you can see, it's a 533, which for some reason shows as a 522. I do assume that's how it is in real life because it's a low level emulation. So it replicates the, the actual processor behavior like really accurately. So I don't think that would be the emulator's fault. As you can see, it's a pretty big screen res. Yeah, we go in Megapog. With the Voodoo 3000 here, we can have the full res 1280 by 960. That was like 4K in the late 90s. Definitely, actually more than 4K because I think 800, 600 was already pretty impressive for gaming back then. So let's just say, yeah, it was definitely an impressive uh, res for today. It still is nowadays. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, most laptops still coming with like one three six one three six six seven six eight so boy i mean you know it's almost the same thing <laughs> so it was a pretty impressive res back in the day and it looks so clear like and of course not working uh capable uh this is not gonna work because the vm is off at the moment but we have like We'll go on Google and stuff. Bingo bongo bish bish. Oh my god. What? Excuse me? Do I have proxy enabled by accident? I might I might have to enable the pro no. Why is not working not working? Uh, that is really strange. It wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, oh, uh, never mind. It's because I have two machines turned on. So this one, they are sharing the same um, PCAP and PCAP settings. So, and the same network card, the same address, 310. So yeah, that's the reason. Pretty sure this one is actually uh connected which we can check sure let me just make sure this one is you know options come on because i had that on proxy setting so i would better stop the browsing first because it's gonna try and you know, options go connection no, it's not using the proxy. That's really strange. Do we have internet here? One of them has to have the internet. God, this is not working. Perhaps they're conflicting. That's that. That's weird. I mean, well, I really wanted to show networking, but apparently it's not going to happen unless I turn one of them off, which would be the Windows 98 one. Sorry, Windows 98. I'm kind of tired of you. Goodbye. I'll feed this in. Okay, so Windows 98 is gone. Then we should. It's not working now. Oh, yeah. There you go. I knew it. It was the network card conflicting. So here you go. Google on Internet Explorer 4. And that's, uh, that's about it. So, yeah. I would say PCM V17 so far is like the best release, of course. I mean, it's the tendency, the more it evolves in a sense, it tends to get better, which is not always the case, but generally, generally, that's what happens. It gets better. And uh, I'm very, very happy, mainly with the VHD feature, which I was waiting for. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw VHD support 
Like that made me so happy. You guys have no idea. So if you are um, interested in getting into emulation and stuff, that's definitely one wonderful option, one great start. And nowadays it's pretty easy to get the ROMs and stuff. Back in the day, it was a little bit of a, of a pain to actually get a hold of all the ROMs and stuff. It was really hard. But nowadays there's a page on GitHub with all the ROMs, but you just gotta Google like PCMV17 ROMs and bingo, first result. And then you download all the ROMs, which I can all link the two legal reasons, but you know where to find it. And it's pretty easy to set up. If you guys want, I could make a video on how to like install the operating systems, how to configure the machines, how to know which parts work, what works and what does not work with each operating system. But at the moment, it's just meant to be a review. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, I have a great time. Feedback's much appreciated. Comment sections right down below. Yeah, have a great one. Goodbye.